Good afternoon, everybody. Very good to see you. Great to be back in Tapper. I've still had time. Oh, wow. It is my absolutely. You can't keep me away. Here we go. And here too. Yep. How's, it, how's, how's everybody behaving? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello, dear guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press. We are very happy to welcome the Prime Minister of United Kingdom and the Secretary General of NATO here in Estonia in Tapa Base. The Prime Minister of Estonia, Kaja Kalas, the Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, and the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, will deliver our statements and take few questions. The press conference is held in English. First, Prime Minister Kaja Kalas, please. Uh, dear Jens, uh, dear Boris, uh, dear members of the press, um, this is quite an exercise and it shows how NATO and allies work together, even, even making such uh, visits happen. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you both in Estonia. Uh, I wish it could be under more pleasant circumstances. Uh, we are here because the security of Europe has changed dramatically. After a long and aggressive lead-up in Georgia, Crimea, Donbas uh, last week, all the masks came off and the whole world can now see. Putin has gone from an autocrat to an outright aggressor and Russia from a difficult neighbor to a rogue state. Putin has unleashed 200,000 soldiers against a free and sovereign country. Their targets, hospitals, schools, kindergartens, innocent Ukrainian lives. And we unfortunately expect to witness even more horrors, including indiscriminate bombings. We mourn all the lives lost in Putin's war. We are also seeing dangerous neglect of nuclear safety by Russian troops. We have just learned Lukashenko's troops have also entered uh, Ukraine. There is no doubt Belarus is a go-aggressor in this conflict. The whole international community must uh, now stand up against the evil. Allies have been united against the aggression since the very beginning, and I'm very glad to say that. We have witnessed a fundamental change of policies across the democratic world, all in support of Ukraine, and aimed uh, in isolating the aggressor. Some of them seemed even unthinkable a uh, few days ago. NATO needs a forward defense strategy. Uh, NATO should be um, prepared to defend the most vulnerable part of NATO, which is the Baltic countries. And this includes on land, um, establishing permanent increased forward presence um, in air, establishing a credible uh, defense posture and a sense of urgency in developing uh, NATO's upgraded uh, defense uh, plan. At the same time, we need to continue our urgent support to Ukraine. Military aid is critical here. Estonia will continue with support as we provide significant military, financial and humanitarian aid. We cannot stop until we have stopped Putin. This is what we simply must do for ending the brutal violence and destruction and for helping the brave people of Ukraine. And Ukraine should be given a very clear signal to join the EU. The security of Ukraine is the security of Europe. Although uh, there is no direct military threat at our borders, NATO must take a leap now and adopt rapidly to the new security situation. We must move from forward presence to forward defence and from air policing to air defence. <coughs> I welcome the decisions already um, taken to strengthen the defence here, 
We are today in Tapa, uh, where we can witness the real collective efforts and commitment of NATO. I would like to thank the United Kingdom and all the allies who are already present here in Estonia and also sending additional troops uh, to Baltic region. We must work together to help Ukraine and to strengthen our own defence. Thank you. Thank you.